What's going on, Midi Chlorines? My name is Midi, and uh, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a what's sold and a very small pickups video. We have one box compared to our normal thousand. Today is April 21st, 2024. Got a little bleach on my shirt, but this is the shirt I look best in. I think what we're gonna do is probably pull uh, a lot of orders, then open this, and then pull some orders. We got about 15, 16, let me think. Okay, so we got 17 items that have sold over the weekend from um, Friday around like 2 o'clock to today, uh, Sunday morning. And actually, it's probably like 11. I slept for like 10 hours and I really needed to catch up on some sleep. But we have 16 orders on eBay and one order on our platform we're going to be talking about today. Let's get into it. Before we do, we say hey to the Shiva and hey to the Bailey and... All right, so our first, are you growling at me? Do you love me? Are you Bailey? Our first order, she's Bailey, going out. Probably saw it in the last uh, video, but we picked up this um, watch. All those watches were um, non-working. They really just had a dead battery, so I fixed most of them and listed a lot of them, but this watch... Um, 90th anniversary commemorative sold for $22 plus shipping buyers all in $30.95. So we have a very specific spot for our watches. And as you can see, the eBay room hasn't changed at all. The only thing we've added is box one because we did complete the alphabet. And we have a box of uh, purses down here. But <clears throat> see, we should have a watch in here somewhere. Is that it? Yep, there it is right there. So that's our first order going out. Um, I think I listed these all to be shipped priority because we have plenty of priority boxes. Now the shipping is going to be a little bit higher, but we're going to save on a headache of trying to find a box. So we'll put that right there. I am. Now I've been doing that, um, listing things as priority shipping for a lot of the items. Specifically, like shoes, um, I've been listing or changing to priority um, because I have a box that's perfect for them. They have the priority shoe box that you can get for free from USPS and all the other size boxes that you could also get for free. So we've uh, changed most of our purses to priority mail. Um, I might have missed some, but people are still buying them. And you're going to be seeing a lot of very, very big... Uh, Sales going out, mostly purses. But, all right, next order. What's the happy meter? Hmm, like a five. Out of five, well, that one looks like a four. All right, our next order going out is, hold on, let me, uh, let me change the screen a little bit. You can watch the dog. Let's see. All right, one more. There we go, all right. Our next order is this Harley Davidson mug, and it sold for $12.23 plus shipping. Um, this we picked up in a lot of Harley Davidson stuff. We sold one item, which put us, you know, pretty far ahead in the profit. Um, let's see, where would I put a mug? You know what? The mug might be in the kitchen. Let's see. Does that make sense, right? Mugs in the kitchen? Yeah. All right. There's our Harley mug. And I guess it's cool. I don't know. I drink coffee. All right, it don't matter what cup it's in, I guess. All right. Let's check the Happy Me there. Oh, you got a bone. You got a bone. She's so pretty. Hey. All right, so our next order going out is a... It's a, one of those orders that you just want to brag about. And close this cabinet. One of those orders you just want to brag about because it's such a good home run, I guess, uh, or a really good sell, return on investment. Um, so hold on, let me switch this camera around. Is that a good transition? All right, our next order going out is this, can't pronounce it, Botkier Valentina Flap Satchel. Um, this was new with tags, and it came with like a little... I don't know, a tote bag, but this sold for $94.49 out 
Uh, I buyers all in 107. That was in the B bin. And our B bin is of course right here. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's see. There it is right here. Bam. Originally 248. Um, I'm about probably $11 invested into that. And I'm going to ship it in the bag. A lot of times I'll keep the Ziploc bags to, you know, when I relist more items, but I'm going to keep it in the bag to make the buyer feel a little bit better. I don't know if it does or not, but that was a good sale. They're getting sadder. Katie. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tail wag. I see it. All right, next sale. Another good one is this. Michael Kors Jet Set, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a woman's thing. They like to, uh, I say they, women like to um, accessorize. And they will accessorize this for 33.43, buyers all in 46.09. So that's including shipping costs. Wait, we gotta see what a uh, skew it is. E, custom skew E. Oh wait, we gotta put this back. Can't get unorganized. Oh, it's heavy. Oh. Now the E bin. E right here. Ooh. I think this. Michael Cole. There we go. Um, I'm uh, just like the other purse. I'm in about eleven, eleven dollars. Um. So that's another good sneaking sale. Okay, you guys have seen enough of the dogs, right? Probably not. So we did almost uh, meet our listing goal um, from the prior week. After we filmed last Sunday's video, we listed and listed and listed and you know, obviously shipped. But um, <clears throat> I think we got 10 listings, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then here comes Saturday. We got nine listings done for Saturday and we could have had 10, but you shouldn't do this, but I did it anyways. That Disney lot that we got last week. Um, if you haven't seen that video, there's a ton of um, Disney watches and stuff that we got. And a lot of those things were quite valuable. Um, they don't, there's not a lot listed for them, but there's also like a couple, only a couple sold um, for a lot of those watches. And you saw we sold one earlier, but we decided because this one watch, uh, the nurse's fob, um, it's like a nurse's watch where it looks like it's an upside down pin, but they hold it up. We'll show it to you. Let's see if we can find it. But for a nurse, they want to know what time it is. So they hold it up and it's right side up for them. Um, it's in the same, uh, here we go, right here. This little nurse's watch. I think we listed that one for 75, but we decided, I say we, I decided that um, I wanted to go ahead and get it listed early and just to see, to try and get another quick sale, but Saturday has passed and we could have had 10 on that day with that one being listed instead of listing it on, I think I did it on Wednesday, but Let's do another sale. <laughs> All right, so this sale actually made me smile, but um, you remember in the last video, if you guys were keeping up, we bought that lot of uh, socks. So we listed um, all of them, and this is our first, well, it's a double pair to sell. And these sold for $17.59 plus shipping. The buyer also left a very nice note. Thank you so much for the offer, because I sent an offer out. Have a great weekend. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna write a note. Thank you so much for the purchase. Have a great week. Um, but we have all those socks in this box. Um, actually, I need to go check what sizes they were, but it should be just a yellow and a blue, a certain size, yellow, blue, size medium, or actually that's a green. Do I have a green pair? 
But once all these sell, I think it's going to be a really good buy. And I'm really happy we at least got one. Here's a yellow. What size is this? Yellow size medium. And the other, it's a green. Oh, those are green. Okay. There we go. Two pairs of socks. Gone. Very easy to list those things. Um, and people wear socks. So, new bolo. Socks. You know what? I think I've looked up before um, the number one selling thing on eBay, and I'm pretty sure it's socks. I could be wrong, but good sale. Let's see if this is still ticking. Just double check. Yes, it's still ticking. And as you can see, it is 1120. All right. <clears throat> Was, this just a, was that a weird noise? Was that a weird noise, huh? What should we do, another sale or should we open up? Let's do another sale. All right, um, let's see. These are uh, big boy shoes. These are Ozark, new tag, size 14. Not the greatest sale. Um, they sold for $15.99 plus shipping. I hope that's priority because uh, size 14, you really need a good box or at least a large box. But we all... All right. They're right here. They're on the shoes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Look how big these guys are. Compared to like all these other shoes. Huge. I'm actually going to have to... You know, I can carry it with one hand. There we go. So I got about... Let's see. Um, probably 550. 560 into those. But the thing is, I know it's not a big money maker after you after fees and everything said and done, cost of goods, but the goal is to keep the money moving. You want to keep the money moving. So if you can make a sale, make a sale. Don't sell yourself too short, but remember, it does have value, but you're in it to make money. If those size 14 sat for size 14 could sit for a while, you know, they have to, you have, you have to find the right buyer. They have to be size 14. They also have to want boots. They also have to want those boots in that color. They also have to be looking for new and they also have to like uh, Ozark trail brand, which I'm going to guess that's like a Walmart or target brand. I'm not, I really don't know. So a lot of factors go into, finding the right buyer um, when it comes to clothing and jewelry and accessories and shoes and stuff like that. So if you get a good offer, take it. I, I, I would think, because you want to keep the stuff moving. You want to keep the money flowing. If you're making money on it, sometimes even if it's sat for a really long time, if you lose a couple bucks, you're still getting a lot of your money back to go buy more things instead of it sitting there for months on end, not helping you make any money. Um, where's my hat? Um, all right, so let's uh, let's do one more sale. And we'll talk about we'll talk about the other platform we got. Oh, oh we're gonna do a sale. We gotta do a sale. Let's see. All right, so these are Timberland uh, jeans, size 40 by 32. These have no custom skew. They sold for $12.79 plus shipping. The shipping was pretty high for that guy. Or maybe the tax was in their state or something. But with no skew, that means they're probably one of these boxes. So we're looking for Timberlands. And actually, these might actually just be it right there. Um... Yeah, they, I mean, all right, that was easy. No custom skew needed. I'm pretty sure those are it. I'll double check um, when we go to ship, um, but I don't think I have any other Timberlands listed. All right, so um, we got one box in the bay because we decided not to um, buy anything for a whole week. And that's because we just had so much stuff to list. But 
We did start cross-listing. Um, we cross-listed on this site that was recommended by um, not Harry Tornado. I'm not saying his name so I could use this hashtag um, in the video. Harry Tornado, Harry Tornado, Harry Tornado. I'm not, I'm not doing that. But we did get a lot of views in the last video. Um, this was recommended by the Commonwealth Picker. The Commonwealth Flipper is what I'm more watched is the flipper part. Um, the cabin or the shit. No, the cabin. Um, <clears throat> in some of his videos, he talks about a, a platform that he's been using. Um, he says he's invested money in it to it as well, I think. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try because it's, it, he made it sound very um, easy. All right, here we have a lot of... This isn't the lot I was thinking of. Maybe we have another box on the Death Tower that we haven't opened yet. We'll have to check. Um, but he talks about this platform called... Um, yeah, so we cross... I'm just kidding. It's called Bonanza. Um, let's see, this slot we paid for... We paid $34.23 for it. It's uh, five pairs of shoes. Um, it's a site called Bonanza. And the reason I bought this lot because of these these are the logo hmm. oh, I didn't mean to do that I see people doing that when they're testing like listening for the sound it's okay um, actually the insoles don't have a Nike logo it's okay I'm telling you it's okay the insoles don't have a Nike logo so. It's okay, sweetie. Look, I'll go look. Let me see. Oh, uh, man. Oh, good girl. You got Did you get them? Did you get them? <clears throat> All right. So I might actually have to send these to check check just to double check. But they're from 2017. But I think they're kind of sought after, I think. Um, maybe I'll put a comp on the screen. Or I'll, try, I'll definitely try to do that, but... I can't remember what those might be worth, but um, Bonanza is like this um, selling platform that primarily sells through Google advertising, and you can link your eBay um, account to Bonanza, and it took like maybe like 10 minutes for me to do this, but I, we have another pair of these, um, or another pair of uh, shoes, the New Balances, like the dad, dad shoes, and these are my size. I seriously, I think I really might just wear these because they look comfy. Um, <clears throat> size 10 and a half. I mean, these were size 10, I think. Yep, those are 10 and a half. But there's, I wouldn't wear those unless I'm wearing my micro core stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they link to your eBay account and it automatically cross lists everything for you. Um, it, it seriously took 10 minutes, but there, there was a sign up fee. It was $15 to sign up for it. And I think that's a one time fee. And um, we made our first sale on it. Um, you don't have to advertise through Google, but it gives you like this disclaimer, 98% of all sales on Bonanza are sold through uh, Google advertising. So if you select that option for all your listings, let's see what these are. Um, Floorwood, Thorwood, um, dress shoes. I do need some dress shoes, but these are size 10. They might be a little too small. I don't really wear dress shoes. I don't know why I said I needed them. But um, we made our first sale. You don't have to um, use the Google advertising. And that costs 9%. 9% of your sale will go to Bonanza. Um, they probably, I don't know, maybe make money on shipping or something. I have buyer pays for shipping on everything. Um, but we're going to be pulling that order right after this box. Uh, these are Clark's. Um, I don't know what kind of shoes these are. They look like, like a Sperry type thing. These are Clark's. That's uh, number four for our shoes. And then our last one is some new without tags, Dr. Scholl's. But these shoes, I hope the comp popped up earlier and, and showed how much they're worth. And we're gonna sell those for whatever that was. Probably 10% less. I recommend listing things 10% less or it's okay. List everything 10% more and then run a um, markdown sale of 10%. I 
I told my brother about, about that and all he said was, why would you want to raise your cholesterol so I can lower it? And I thought it was funny. All right, that was everything in that box. Let's uh, pull that bonanza order. Let's pull that bonanza order. <laughs> All right, so this bonanza order is this um, uh, case cube. It's this thing my mom got from the return store, Amazon return store, and she asked if I want it, and I said, sure. And this guy paid nine thirteen for that, plus shipping, um, and that's it. I didn't have to do anything. Um, I look, I decided to sign up and have everything cross-listed. Um, actually, I don't know where this is gonna be. Over here, maybe? So I got it, uh, here it is right here. Um, signed up, everything cross-listed. And then once it's sold, they don't have like an app, so you have to just check your email all the time, which I do every, you know, every, pretty often, but um, it said I got the sale, so I went on eBay to delist but it was already delisted. So it automatically delisted for me as well, which is great. And um, I don't know if it delists things on Bonanza that sells on eBay yet, but I'm not really too concerned at the moment. I'm just happy to make a sale off of it. Are we okay? <laughs> Are we okay? Are we okay? All right, so on top of the Bonanza stuff, uh, I have been cross-listing on Macari, but I'm gonna keep it to a minimum over there. We, I, li I keep saying we, I listed, we're a team. I listed six things on Macari um, from eBay, and one of those things was that uh, big purse that we sold, or, or the big sale that we had of a purse. It, it's not a very big purse, but, um, I have that listed over there for $10 less than on eBay. And it sold on eBay for $10 more. So I had to go delist that. Um, I wanted to get Mercari. I wanted to get Mercari or, or just start cross listing with Mercari because um, they have a new app or a new tool where you can cross, cross list all your eBay stuff on on um, on Macari, but you have to be a pro seller because it's only in the beta. Yeah, and um, I didn't know that. I signed up and I went to go do it and it was like, need to be a pro seller. So I'm gonna try and become a pro seller or if not by, if not by the time that uh, it's ready for non-pro sellers, um, maybe I'll become a pro seller. Does walking in circles make it more fun? We'll see. Next item that we have up for sale is this Disney pin. And actually, okay, so this sold for $17 plus shipping. And I was kind of wrong about, um, does it have a skew? Please have a skew. Let me see. I don't see a skew, but I think I know where it's at. Um, <clears throat> I thought that was from the other Disney lot with all the pins, but this was from the new Disney lot with the uh, the watches. So from that lot so far, we sold that watch, I think, and then this pin. Is that it? There it is. $17 for this uh, Disney pin. And thank you so much, Disney fans. I really love you. You guys are the greatest. Thank you. $17. <laughs> All right, so we did have another box. Um, I guess that's from the prior week. 
that we hadn't opened yet, but it's still not the same package I was thinking of because there, there's, shoe, I'm looking for shoes. There's another box of shoes that I've ordered that I haven't gotten yet. Um, but let's do another sale. So we sold these uh, True Religion jeans um, for $30. Wait, plus shipping? Yeah, plus shipping. And those have no skew. So these have been listed for so long. Um, I really thought those would sell much quicker. And I had them originally listed for, I think like $60 whenever I first got them. And I just kept lowering and lowering uh, the price. Eventually someone sent me an offer for 30 bucks. Here they are. Um, and I said, yeah, dog, I'll take that. I take care of my things. Yep, thirty dollars plus shipping. I'm busy, <laughs> and um, we have about three dollars and ten cents into that, so that's pretty good. Um, let's do one more order, and um, then we'll open that box. Say hey, Jeeva. He's a pretty kitty. What are we doing up here? What are we doing up here, kitty? Um, let's see. So our next order is going to be the Steve Madden um, wristlet. Um, actually, I think we pulled this in the last video also. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping. And it's in the H-Bin. What the heck? What the heck? All right. Super sneaky. H-Bin. Oh. Into your custom skew bag, which was 14. Back to the Disney pins and our Steve Madden. Let's see, it's in here. Right, that looks like a good Steve Madden. That says. What does that say? Nem. <clears throat> there we go. Steve Madden. All right. Good sale. I'm glad I sold it. Does Steve Madden, do people like Steve Madden? I feel like a, I feel like if you're a girl and you're buying like a wristlet or a clutch or a wallet or a purse, uh, is Steve a girl's name? You'd want like a girl's name as like the, I don't know. I'm not a girl. I don't know. I know these are shoes. Okay, I've had these for that long. All right. I guess it does kind of sound like shoes, but they're heavy. It says it's women's shoes, so that makes sense. Hey, don't. Let's see. All right, so 34.23 for six pairs? Six pairs of shoes. The other lot was five pairs for a 34.23. Um, there's just one specific one. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. These, hmm, they're polo, um, Ralph Lauren, I guess, but they're kind of like, I don't know. Then we got some heels by Badgley Mishka. They're actually pretty cute, a little laced. Um, not pointed toe, but like rounded toe, right? Maybe. Um, some Fly Londons. Are they cute? Are they cute enough to sell? Yes, I'm selling it. And then what are these? Kombu? Uh, boat shoes. I don't know if Kombu is like a good brand or not. I, I remember looking them up before, but I can't remember currently because I have a bad memory. Um, okay, this is probably why. I, I think I, this is why I bought them. Oh, oh. Is that supposed to happen? Like, these are Kate Spades, and people buy Kate Spades. 
I don't know. Dude. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I really don't know, man. And when people sell flip-flops, sometimes they'll sell them with like an entire footprint. Like, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Like the Birkenstocks people sell and then people buy them. I would not be comfortable with that. And then our last pair is these, these are non-West. So, got a new pair of non-West boots. But hopefully the Kate Spades I could sell for $34.23, I don't know. Kate Spade people like. Um, there's Fly London's, I think it's a good brand. Badgley Miska might be a good brand. And uh, these, I don't know, I'll probably list them very low because it has like cracking and stuff if I do decide to clean them and list them. But I don't remember. I don't remember, I, I, I comped all that stuff out whenever I was buying it, but now I don't remember. Yeah, so today, I, I haven't been mentally preparing myself for today. Um, today I have to list 70 more items or over the next three days list, list 70 more items. And um, I didn't mentally prepare myself all week which I normally do, like in my head, I kept, I keep saying Sun, Sunday, gotta list, Sunday, gotta list, Sunday, gotta list. Right now it's looking like Sunday, gotta ship, Sunday, gotta ship. Because all that stuff needs to go out on Monday. Uh, we have one day handling time and that gives us 10% off uh, your total uh, final value fees. And that's not like if you, your final value fees are 15%, now they're five. It takes 10% off your 15%. Um, does that make sense? After the 15% has been calculated, then it takes 10% off after that. Um, so I like that for that aspect. And um, one day handling time, it, it incentivizes buyers to um, go ahead and make the purchase because they know they'll get it quicker. But the good thing about um, the weekend is after on Friday, if they make the purchase, that means you don't have to ship it out till Monday. So generally I have it set to anything after 2 p.m. on Friday. Um, I don't ship till Monday, but before that, I'll go ahead and take everything to the post office. Um, so I don't know, that, I, I do like, I, I hate one day handling time, but then when Friday comes, I'm like, yeah, man. All right, let's pull another order. But first, let's give the doggies a treat. You want a bone? What the heck are you? You want a bone? Let's see. All right. We got some book Doritos. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay, you don't want that? I'll give it to the Shiva then. Bailey. 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 Sweetheart. Sweetheart, take the bone. There we go. What are you doing? What the heck? All right, let's pull another order. Is it good? So our next order is... Oh, I forgot the kitty was there. Sneaky kitty. Um, this JOS bank. Um, it says Murano wood or wool, I guess. I don't remember. But this sold for $23 and... Uh, plus shipping, the buyer's all in $33.99. So, let's see if we can find that in the customs. Get back in your skew. Oh, no, don't. Okay, there we go. And that was in the S. Oh, gosh. The S is. You gotta move the T to get to the S. Need some better boxes. This looks like it actually. Nope, that's not. This looks like this looks like it actually. No, I don't think that's it either. Is it? This might be it. Let's see if there's anything else in there that's similar. Maybe that. I'm actually gonna have to open both of those up because normally I fold it where I can see the tag. Is there anything else? Okay, it's gotta be one of these two. Alright. I don't think it's this one. I think it's gonna be this one. Let's see. Good. 
J.O.S. Bank Traveler. There we go. That's it right there. Sweet. What was it? $23? Yes, sir. So um, I made that sale on Bonanza, I think Friday. Um, before two, by the way, but I have the handling time on Bonanza at four. And I thought it might be a good um, thing to put into the video. Uh, so I held off on shipping that, but now I kind of, I've been feeling bad. Like I could have had it shipped out. And um, I'm worried that the, uh, your item has a new like on Macari. Oh, it's the, um, the Disney Pixar Up Locket. I think that's got three likes on Macari right now. But yeah, I've been feeling bad because it's my first sale on Bonanza and um, someone has paid money and trusted me um, or paid Bonanza and trusted me to go ahead and ship the item and get it out to them. And uh, I didn't because I was being selfish and wanted to put it in the video. Um, let's pull another order. How many orders have we gotten? A lot. What was it? 17? 18? I, don't, I forget now, but let's do it. You say hey to the sheep. <laughs> Uh-oh. And the Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our next order that we have um, is another watch. So uh, I put vintage in the title because I found a sold listing um, and they had vintage. Oh, I didn't check that M-A-N. I don't, I don't hope that number is the same as me. I took someone else's listing, but this sold for $13.99 plus shipping. I did put a new battery in it. We all know where those are. I put a new battery in it, so it was working at the time of listing. But those batteries were old. Um, not like, I mean, they were new, but they had, they were old. Is this it? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I don't think I have another pink watch. Let me, let me go double check. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Make sure it's still ticking. It gets a better lighting, but um, they're listing. It sold for a little bit higher, but this has a lot of uh, like wear. Like someone definitely wore this a lot. Damage. Um, can we see the numbers? Um, actually, I think this is the same numbers but see if it's still ticking yep and it is that time is wrong i must have done it an hour earlier it's actually um 11 52 not 10 52 but i'm happy to sell that and i'm happy that it's still working because those batteries have been sitting in my uh drawer for so very very long all right so our next order is going to be um this tommy hill figure 2XL. Um, I had it listed for 27 and someone sent me an offer for 20 bucks. And because I only have three dollars and like 10 cents into it, what's the skew? Skew is you. Um, I went ahead and accepted that offer because you know that we like to move. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. Put this back up here. Slot it over there. Um, we'll go ahead and pull this one down. There might not be room. Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger. Come on, Tom. Is that it? 2XL? Yep. There it is right there. And that sold for 20 bucks. Pretty good. Cool. Blank. A lot of sales. As you can see, nice little variety. Mostly um, accessories, clothes. But we did have the, the mug. Is it? And then the camera. So, I don't know. Let's see if we have any more orders. And I think we do. Oh, I don't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. You okay? All right, let's pull another order. We do have another order going out, and there's a sad, sad girl. You're okay. You're so pretty. Look how pretty she is. All right. So we sold a pair of jeans. These are Lucky Brand 361s. Uh, the Vintage Straits, 33 by 30. Uh, these sold for $18.99. Plus shipping. Buyers all in $27 for these jeans. That's insane. Um, does it have a custom skew? Let's see. Custom skew is why? Why do you don't why don't you love me? Well, <clears throat> custom skew is why, and then we'll uh, 
Ugh. Get up there and stay in your skew or skate stay in your place. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Put this up there too. Then we pull the Y out. Alright. Lucky brand. Lucky brand. These are lucky. Oh, what, what was the wash? I think it was light wash. Um, they look like white wash in the picture. So these might be it. Lucky brand. Okay, vintage three, six, one, straight. Let's pull these out. I'll check them in a second. I'm pretty sure there's a red. We'll see if there's another um, um, lucky brand in that box there. I do have a lot of lucky brand listed. Levi's, those are like a darker wash. Oh, wait, could these be it too? No, those are Levi's, I think. All right, I think we're good. Those are old Davies. Yeah, we're good. So we had two things that <laughs> we had two things that sold um, this morning uh, before I started doing the video. And one of them is this, uh, maybe I can just angle it like this. It's a Kate Spade bag, um, and it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. I'm pretty sure that's going to be priority mail. So I think I think it was in the video prior. Um, we had a, a package come in, it had three Kate Spade purses in it. Um, and I think I was all in $47. Um, a couple of days ago, we sold one for $40. It was uh, like a rose pink crossbody. And then um, today we've sold the se a second one, which is $50. And the thing is, I think the third one I have listed is uh, the white one for $60. So hopefully that one will sell, but um, hold on a second. Put these back. Ugh. Oh, all right. I'm pretty sure the Kate Spade's up here. I think the scent was in the R. Yep, there it is. Kate Spade. Ooh, it's a Kate Spade. Can't believe it's a Kate Spade. So we got the Kate Spade purses, and now we got the Kate Spade flip flops, and our fit will be legit pretty soon, unless that last purse sells. So what I'm going to do here is kind of un. You know what? Our last order. Uh, Eddie Bauer radiator fleece. What does that mean? I don't know. But this sold this morning as well before the video. Uh, Eleven ninety nine plus shipping. And uh, this will be our last order. And hmm. Okay, so I think this is going to be weird because we haven't done this yet. There's no custom SKU, so that means it's 100%. It's not going to... Hold on a second. Ugh. Okay, that was intentional. I did that intentionally. Um, it's going to be in here. So this used to be... This dresser used to be in the inventory room where the shelves are. But I needed room for the shelves and also had room here. So I have some items in, in these drawers, um, and they're really not, I mean, they're kind of selling, but it's, it's taken a long time. Um, Eddie Bauer, Eddie, I think it's this one. That looks like it right there. Um, that's not a half zip. Or quarter zip or whatever. Eddie Bauer. Am I wrong? I mean, that was Eddie Bauer, but that wasn't a quarter zip. Who was that? I might be wrong. It, it might be actually... Dang it, I thought I was doing something fun. What's that? Tequila. Oh, wait. Nope. All right. There's no way it's... Oh, wait. Could it actually be unskewed in one of these boxes? No! See, this is why you always... 
Let me look at the listing. Oh man, I don't know. I'm gonna check the uh, like the A bins and stuff, but okay. So when I'm working like my doubles at my full time job, and I'm I'm using the hour and a half break that I get during my 13 hour day to ship stuff. First thing I do is I grab the dollars and take them to the park. We're there for like 15, 20 minutes and they get real tired, especially because it's so hot. Then I come back and ship. Now, if this happens on a, on, a, on a double day where there's no custom skew, it takes so much time to find. But hopefully we can find it in our first box. All right. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. Please, if it's in here, I'm like, hey, you? I don't think it is, because it's, it was, I was using the mannequin, and I kind of like, I mean, the mannequin's nice and everything, but I kind of don't want to use the mannequin anymore, or at least, all right, I got to find this thing. All right, so after all of that, this is this is it. But I put quarter zip in the title, and um, it's it's not a quarter zip. It's a quarter quarter button. So I'm gonna message the buyer and just confirm. I looked through every single one of those boxes, and all right. Bam, last order. Every single one of those boxes, and it was literally where I thought it was, and it was, and we had it in our hands. Um, dum, 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 dum. <clears throat> All right, so basically that's going to do it for the video. It was just like a little uh, what sold. As you can see, we had, you know what? Let's see what the, uh, the total was for all of those orders. Maybe that would be nice.
All right, so the total is quite high. And um, you know what? I think I'm gonna do a breakdown um, of what sold, what, what our cost of goods were, and what our net was after fees and shipping. Because for today's Sunday, so for Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday morning, that's a pretty high um, gross, right? Yeah, gross. That, um, meow, 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 meow. All right, we're gonna do a breakdown, I think. All right, so I wanna do um, <clears throat> just a breakdown of the all the sales that we had over the weekend. Um, first thing we're gonna do is this um, case cube. Um, so I'm gonna pop up uh, how much it sold for on the screen. Um, how much buyer paid in shipping, we'll add that into it. And um, then we'll subtract cost of goods and fees. So for this one, it sold for $9.13. Um, buyer paid $11.60 in shipping. And um, Bonanza collected $171 in tax. So the total was $22.44 for the, the case cube. Um, so let's do 2244, 2244, and then we'll minus, um, our shipping, which buyer paid 1160. And I don't think we're going to get a discount from Bonanza. So we're just going to subtract 1160 from that. And that leaves us with it should be 1084 um and then it gave us the tax which it says it was collected i don't know if that includes the order amount but the tax was minus 171 which brings us to 913 and then uh, i said earlier in the video that the fee should be nine percent but this is telling me it's a uh, 11.4 and every transaction has a 25% uh, or 25 cent um, fee for every transaction. So the total fee on that was 122 minus 122. And that leaves us with 791. Um, and because that was a gift from my mother, we have no price for cost of goods. So right now we're at 791 in profit. All right, so our next item that we uh, sold, and the rest is going to be on eBay, was our Disney um, uh, Mickey Mouse watch, 90th anniversary commemorative uh, watch. Um, so this item sold for what did it sell for? Oh, $22.99. Um, buyer paid $7.96 in shipping, and that leaves us with $38.86. Now our cost of goods, it's gonna be a little difficult to figure out because this was in a lot of items, but um, I'm just gonna take a guess and it's gonna be way higher than what I actually think we paid for it because whenever you have lots, um, I guess you can divide up every single item up evenly. Um, and that lot had a, a really good amount of items in it. Um, but conservatively, I'm just gonna say it was five bucks for this watch. So let's minus our cost of goods, $5. Um, so that leaves us with $33.86. And then we'll subtract shipping, which was $7.96. So when it comes with shipping with all of these, um, I do have it discounted for the buyer. Uh, so where they get the eBay shipping discount whenever they pay for shipping. Um, so that's probably gonna be pretty close to what it's gonna cost to send out. So after we subtract the $7.96 from that, that leaves us with $25.90. Next item was this uh, Harley Davidson mug. This came in a, in a lot of Harley Davidson items and we've sold two things from that lot. The first thing that we sold broke us even and then the second thing we sold um, put us in the profit by a great amount. So I'm just gonna say that the cost of goods on this is gonna be zero because we're already in the profit. <clears throat> this sold for $12.23 uh, plus shipping. So let's add 12 23 to that, uh, 25.9, and that gives us 38.13 plus uh, the shipping that they paid, which was 6.96, and that brings us to 45.09.
and then we subtract the 696. Maybe I won't um, add in the 696 because we're just gonna be subtracting it right afterwards. Since the shipping's probably gonna be spot on for most of these orders, I just won't add on the shipping. Subtract that, uh, 4509 minus 696, which brings us right back down to 3813. So our next item was our biggest sale, which was the Bacchier uh, handbag. Buyer paid for priority mail $6.91, so that's probably what it's gonna cost to ship it out. So we'll just add up, or the price of uh, the item, which was $94.49, which brings us to $132.62. All right, so our next item that sold was, here we go, this Michael Kors uh, crossbody, like box style purse, and that sold for $33.00. 43 and that brings us to 166.05 all right our next item was um these two pairs of socks oh i forgot to subtract the cost of goods on both the two purses all right let's go back uh let's subtract the cost of goods both those purses which i would estimate it's probably 22.50 for in total so 166.05 minus 22.50 and that brings us to 143.55. And now we have the socks, and these socks sold for 17.59. That brings our total to 161.14. Then we can subtract our cost of goods on those, which was each bundle cost us $2.10, and we have two bundles there, and that was $4.20. So our, let's subtract our cost of goods. So it brings our total to 156.94. Next we have these Ozark uh, men's size 14 shoes and those sold for $15.99. So let's add that to our total. Brings us to $172.93 and our cost of goods, I believe was $5 and probably 50 cents. And that brings us to $167.43. Next we have those Timberland jeans, the 40 by 30 straight. And those sold for $12.79, which brings our total to $180.22 and we'll minus our cost of goods which was uh, $3.10. So we're at $177.12 after our cost of goods. Next we have this Disney pin, which sold for $17. So we'll add 17 to our total, which brings it to $194.12. Um, we'll subtract cost of goods on that which is gonna be hard because it was in a lot. At most, probably, it was in the it was in the lot with all the watches. Um, I'll put the watches at like five bucks for cost of goods, but that that pin, I'm just gonna say it was a dollar. So 194.12 minus one dollar. All right, 193.12. All right, so our next item was the True Religion jeans. These sold for $30, so 193.12 plus 30 is 223.12. Minus our cost of goods, which was $3.10. And uh, that brings us to 2202. Our next sale was uh, this Steve Madden uh, wristlet. I'm sold for $16.99, which brings our total to 23 or 237.01. Minus our cost of goods, which was I think I think that's three dollars and ten cents as well, which brings our total to 233.91. Our next item, we got the JOS Bank Traveler, which sold for $23 even. So we'll add $23 to our total, which brings our total to $256.91. And our cost of goods was $3.10. So that brings us to $253.81. Our next item was another Mickey Mouse watch. Oh, Minnie Mouse. Um, so that sold for $13.99 which brings our total to $267.08 minus our cost of goods. And we're being conservative, but we'll put five bucks. Um, $262.80 is our, our total right now. Our next item that sold was this Tommy Hilfiger shirt, which sold for $20, which brings our total to $282.80 minus our cost of goods, which was $3.10. And that brings us to $279.70. Our next item was these Lucky Brand jeans, which sold for $18.99, which is $298.69. Um, minus our cost of goods, which was $3.10, which brings our total to $295.59. Um, the next thing that sold was this Kate Spade um, handbag, which sold for $50 or $49.99, which brings our total to $345.58 minus our cost of goods, which I believe was $11 on all those purses. I know, 
For the Kate Spade, it was a little different. So the Kate Spade purses, we were paying $16 a piece for. So we'll subtract that from our total, $16, which brings us to $329.58. And then our last thing that sold was that ooh, Eddie Bauer quarter zip, but it's actually a quarter button. So I have to, I still need to message them about that. And that sold for $11.99 which brings our total to $341.57 of uh, gross um, income for the weekend. All those items were plus shipping, but we didn't add that in because we I'm pretty sure we just subtract it evenly with that. But what we do need to do is subtract um, eBay fees. And I'll just say that it was 15%, but I've noticed some of the items um, are lower than 15, but We'll just do 15%. So 341.57. See. 341.57. And then we'll multiply that number by 0.15, which will give us our 15% of that total number, which is $51.23. 24 cents. So we'll subtract that. Fifty-one twenty-four from our total gross, um, and that will bring us to two hundred ninety dollars and thirty-three cents of net revenue of what I take, what I make um, income. Minus, I guess you could count like the shipping supplies that I'll need to use. Anything that was shipping priority, um, free shipping supplies, but I do need to use tape. So maybe minus point minus three cents. And then uh, some of those I'll have to use my own boxes. Um, let's see, which won't be a lot. One item I'll use my own box. Most of this stuff's priority. Um, so I use this priority boxes, but only one item will be using my own box, which is that Harley Davidson mug. So we'll subtract um, 50 cents from that and then all the clothing will use poly bags so let's just say it's like a dollar fifty or something that's probably much less but let's say a dollar fifty which brings our total to twenty two hundred eighty eight dollars and thirty cents so i think that's pretty good for uh, a weekend um friday sales actually i think it's very good um two hundred eighty dollars over the course of uh, two days, I would say, you know, Sunday morning, Friday night. Um, but I hope you liked the video. That's gonna do it. I got a lot of stuff to ship. I got a lot of stuff to list. And uh, how you say it?